Suppose that could work. Why well, had the stats for it? It's fine. Oh well, that's the win, as I say. Wish my uh, program would work like it's supposed to, so we have to pretend to talk to people that don't hear a darn thing. Not seeing any action from my microphone or my recording software. Reactor crash, you can't do both. Do I have to load my options? So my options are preloaded in the thing. I said there's much more options like that. Okay. What are you doing inside? Temperature control. So let's get back to let's play. World of Fantasy. Uh, Rain, do you hear something? Uh. Oh, Who knew the winds of Babel could be so toasty? I need to be the guy who so gets the information you need. Okay, this is the fire mega red dragon. Yeah, like red dragons, but mega. It absorbs fire. Over to ice with water. Can't imprison it. This is why you guys for this site. Prisoners like this. Yeah. Miracles. Now is our chance to run the past them. Yeah, good. I. <laughs> it's behind the me, isn't it? There's more than one. Whoa! It finally worked. Tiva, five is seven. Oh, oh I can Same celebrate one. later. Come on, this way! Hurry! Hmm. 
the two of them have started something. Mediums have been awakening one after the next. Then you mean the Azure Prophecy is coming true? So what? No matter how many champions arise, the laws of this world are beyond their power to change. The only force that can change those laws is the almighty power of a true king. We must fulfill the Crimson Prophecy. And swiftly. Are we agreed? Yes. Thanks again! You really saved our biscuits the back there! Who knew they came in sets? I'm just glad you're all right. Huge dragons live in the scars. You're lucky you only ran into the two. Probably Normally people don't set foot near the place, but I heard all the ruckus and knew something must be up. <laughs> it's a good thing you did. Gotta say though, you pack quite a punch. Oh, well, I might have gotten lucky. Huh? That's actually one of my master's moves. That was the first time I ever managed to pull it off. Oh. I live to the north of here, in a town called Nibelheim. Come on by, if you get a chance. Ah. Uh. Do we say start? Yes. Hey, Ernest came back. I guess she's a champion too. I'll say, she sure punches like one. Makes you wonder what her master must be the like. Well. Couldn't tell you, don't remember. She said her town was north of here, didn't she? Yeah. Wait, I think I can actually see it from here. Ooh, so something about that place makes my fur the crawl. I don't know what it is, but it gives me the heebie the jeebies. Grandpa, yeah, seven is a beautiful decision. Yeah, I was over here. Those questions you don't have to answer to. I just want to go over here real quick. <clears throat> I'm Arthur. I want to get in my list so I can get more well, This is a charming little town. But something feels kind of, I don't know, off about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Hmm... I think it might be a good idea for us to keep a low profile around here. Why's that? Because... <laughs> oh! Just do it! Uh, okay. Low profile, Tama. Okay. Roger the wheel, Cole. I came here most into this. Hey, hey! Did you know about the nimble mirages living in the desert? They're really fast. Duchesses? I'd really like to run a race against them one of these days, but... Well, they're mirages, right? I don't want to start a race with them only to have them attack me, so I was hoping you could check out how strong they are for me first. Hi, dude. Oh, they're kill. called cactuars. If you can defeat a handful of them for me, then I'll be able to tell how strong they are. I have them. Five, ten, hundred? Three? I do that. That is the only thing here that's notable right now. Can't do it anything else. Let's have this chest that's here. I do want this. System of grenades, missile nine. Once again, my went to work first thing in the morning and still hasn't come home. Today was a birthday, so the two of us were planning to make me dinner. So for that, if you can do you help make the rest of workers hard? So you got the... I'll call this guy's request.
Are you guys seeing this town? Yeah, that's where Tifa lives. You know, it makes nine one hills look humble. That's where she is. If you get confused during battle, you'll lose control of yourself and start lashing out at random. You might even attack your friends. You can bring a confused fighter to his senses by hitting him, but smelling salts get the job done in a much safer way. Here, I've got some I can give you. You might need a song salts cup soon. Cause you get more confused. Cause last I checked, there was an evil behind. It's a lot like me, to me. But why? Why? But what, what do I know? Chapter Eleven. Crimson and Azure. Nibelheim, also is Midgar. For everybody's been following the seven, this is Midgar, not Nibelheim, but the game is Hang Midgar. on a sec. Hmm. I don't see any chain on the place. Well, maybe they're like Cornelia, and they haven't been annexed by the Federation. Good point. Sorry, huh? Corn. What? It can't oh, be. Nice. Great memory hmm. there. Hey, hey there, guys. It is you, right? Hey, super punchy girl. Hi. How are you doing, Tifa? Is it good to see you. Same here. Hey, I have to ask, what are two keepers and a mirage doing way down here in Babel? Oh yeah. Um. I guess we never told you, did we? We see what happens. Oh good. I was starting to worry. What if I accidentally saved a couple of bad apples from the Bahamut army? It's weird. Why does everybody keep thinking that we're Bahamutian soldiers? I don't know. I guess they don't see many Mirage Keepers anymore, unless they're working for the bad guys. Yeah. And not just Keepers, Giants too. These days, they all seem to be fighting for Bahamut. I guess it makes sense in a way. They say the Federation conquered their homeland long ago. Dude. Still. The prophecy is a hot topic around Nibelheim. Everyone in town has heard of the giants from the hills. Uh, I'm not sure I like being a celebrity. <laughs> anyway, so you're looking for the Valley of Fire? Unfortunately, that's the only real clue that we've got. The Valley of Fire. Everyone knows that bit, but no one's sure which valley is the right one. What do you mean? If you're looking for fiery valleys, this region is full of them, but that's just it. Any one of those valleys could be the one the prophecy is talking about. It is where it is, but oh, right. it's, it's, it's I forgot there's a summoner in town doing research on the valley. She might know. Yeah, great, but this is quite fine. I'll do the best of part then. Let me introduce the giants from the hills. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Hello there. I am the summoner Ridia. Hmm? Something here is not right. Something about you. Hey, you know, the way that Mirage follows you, you totally remind me of Yuna. I guess it's because you're both summoners. Huh? You mean you know Lady Yuna? Yeah, we met her. Back on the Upper Continent. She was really a lot of help to us. We might not even be the here if Yuna hadn't pointed us in the right direction. Oh. Well then, I suppose you can't be all that bad. There now. You hear that? These two say they're friends of Lady Yuna. That means you can trust them. For the time being, at least. So let me get this straight. You're searching for the four keys recorded in the prophecy? Yep. Yeah. We came to Babel because we heard one of the keys was hidden here, in a valley of fire. Right. But, you know, the keys are part of the Crimson Prophecy. Crimson Prophecy? 
So wait, you mean there's more than one version? Yes. There used to be a single prophecy, the Azure Prophecy. It only spoke of four sigils and said nothing about keys. It was much more abstract. The Azure Prophecy is heresy! Uh, this is no business of yours! Lies! Only the Crimson Prophecy is gospel! <sighs> Are you a summoner or not? You should pray that fate guides you to the Crystal Tower. The Crimson Prophecy is clear. Flanked by mirages, the Chosen Ones shall acquire four keys. From the Crystal Tower, they shall mount the heavens, where God will grant them the gift of eternity. I don't know so how you know to look for the signs, the keys shall be found. So do as the Crimson Prophecy commands of you. Hmm? Say about killing people? They do that too. Uh, all you hear these days is that nonsense. Yeah, no kidding. At least they're not breaking any laws or getting violent, but it's still creepy. What do those fools know anyway? The Azure Prophecy was written by the first summoner. It's the Crimson Prophecy that came later. The whole thing is nothing but a sham. Still, that sham seems to be the prophecy folks believe in. Unfortunately so. That's why I came here to sort the truth out myself. Tell me then, why are you searching for the keys like the prophecy says? You see... Yeah, nothing else to go on. So you're telling me that your mother shares the same name as Lady Lucifarna? And you're looking for the Herald's Castle to find her. I get it. If you really are the giants from the hills, all you have to do is follow the prophecy, and you might wind up there anyway. Right. There's actually more to it. Someone told us we would find our family as long as we kept collecting mirages and pressing onward. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it seems the only way to prove which prophecy is true is to accompany the two of you to the Valley of Fire. In a way, you'd be accompanying me and doing me a favor. What do you mean? Oh, never you mind. So, are we ready? I already asked for Final Fantasy IV. We don't even know which valley to go to. I've already figured it out. The valleys of Babel are numbered, and I believe the one we are looking for is Valley 7. Who right, right, you know? Placey place, here we come. Now you're forgetting entire names? That was a beautiful way to see you, Harris. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. You see, my grandson's birthday is coming up soon, and I was hoping to give him some dragon scales. How many? Is there any chance you would be willing to bring me some? I'd be very grateful if you could. Three? You yeah, I have three. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, thank you. My grandson's going to be thrilled when he opens his present. Yeah, right. I right. It's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a reward. Huh. I'll take that. So, Rydia, what's the difference between a summoner like you and a mirage keeper? You know, I should be asking you the same thing. In most cases, summoners can only maintain a bond with one or two mirages at the most. To be called a mirage keeper, you have to be special. Keepers can exercise power over a countless number of mirages. How is it you create a bond with so many of them? Huh? Well, I guess I've never really thought about it that much. Tama, can you answer that? Huh? Hmm, good the question. I never really thought about it as some kind of the bond before. Huh? Then Tama's not your familiar? No. Familiar? Oh, yeah, it's yes. right now. Mine is this dragon here. This dragon, yes. The first mirage a summoner connects with stays by the summoner's side to give her protection. They're sort of like guardians. Under no the obligation to protect lawn and rain, it's the optional. Gee, thanks. Hmm. I guess that keeping mirages and summoning mirages must be two pretty distinct things. 
As far as I can tell, there must be a big difference indeed. Five seven, huh? Okay. Now I know we go there right now, but I really want to. I really have stuff to do. Yeah, we have. So this time, let's play Final Fantasy. Side quest, then maybe main quest this time. See you guys then. <laughs>